guys. So today is story time and there's going to be a moral to the story at the end. So people are always wondering if I can share my crazy horror stories about uh, being in real estate. So these are going to be stories of people that rented their houses out and did not hire a property manager. And they also did not live in the city. So there was really nobody to check on the property, right? So the first story, um, this was many, many years ago. Um, the lady had bought the house across the street. It was her dream house. Well, the couple, they rented the house out to the daughter. Um, the daughter and the boyfriend lived in the house for several years and then stopped paying rent. And then they also started these projects that they thought they were going to do to the house. Uh, including tearing out the flooring upstairs in the loft and they were going to put hardwood but they never did but they had a ton of cats and the cats peed everywhere and then also the master bedroom was upstairs but so was the kitty litter box so they proceeded to start dumping out the kitty litter onto the balcony until they had a mountain of kitty litter because they were just too lazy to throw it out yeah it was pretty foul so that's one story um, that doesn't relate so much to the out of town people, but just be careful, right? If you don't know what to do with property management, that's what you need to do. The other story is um, I had a client who had a property manager, wasn't happy with him, fired him, proceeded to do it himself. He didn't live here. Um, then he decided to sell the property. And uh, when I showed up um, to see the house and see what kind of shape it was in, um, the lady had seven cats, seven cats. The upstairs flooring is wood plank underneath the carpet. And so the cats peed everywhere. It was absolutely disgusting. Um, I, after they left and the electricity had been shut off, it was beginning of summer, I walked in and even with my mask, I immediately started gagging. Um, they had to auto bag Clorox and prime and paint the flooring upstairs just to try to seal out the smell. So that was a joy. Uh, lots of repairs to do on the inside because the cats would jump on different ledges and scratch, you know, to, you know, get a grip on stuff. Um, the other story I have is, um, it's a very recent one, actually. Um, so I have a client that moved away. Uh, she was renting the house out. She didn't have anybody checking on it regularly. Um, and she had to show up on the first to get rid of them. Um, they knew she had given them notice and she showed up and they still were moved out. So she had to physically help them move all their stuff out. Um, then she comes to discover that he was running a taxidermy shop out of his garage. Mm -hmm. There was blood, glue, and mold in that garage. So you can imagine what it must have been like. I didn't get to see it initially, thank God. I showed up and kind of took a look and I was like, oh my God, this is insane. Their dog also proceeded to dig several holes around the foundation, including one that was about a foot and a half under the foundation. Yeah. Yeah. A poor dog probably didn't have shade, and that's what he did. Um, last but not least, the story of the squatters. These, um, so the lady was from El Paso. She grew up here. She had a sister. Um, the mother passed away. The sister lived in the house for some time. The sister wound up moving out. The sister that inherited the property lived in Florida and she hadn't been back in 15 years or more. So when I showed up to take a look at the house, um, we found squatters. A family that was living in there uh, had all their utilities on. You don't need a lease to have utilities connected. And then they pretended that they were renting the house out. And um, I basically had to pretend like I was going to try to evict them um, in order to get them out. So when they got out, they removed the wall heater that they had installed, the water heater, the stove, and um, the house was trashed. So we sold it, you know, we sold it as basically a shell because that's what it was. But that was very interesting and a little sketchy at times. So the moral of the story is if you're going to have an investment property and you don't live in the town, hire a property manager for the love of God because you're opening yourself up to so much liability. So many people say, well, you know, I just don't feel like I should pay a property manager to do something because they don't do anything anyway. If it's not, if it's the right property manager, you do get that because you're protecting your investment. You're protecting your investment and you're uh, uh, ensuring that if anything needs to get fixed, it gets fixed. I had another client whose tenants were there and um, they had put a new roof on the house and then it started leaking 
like a year later, they never told the owner until like another year and a half went by. And by that time, the warranty on the roof had expired. And then they were stuck having to do exterior and interior repairs. So, you know, just for a little bit of money, protect your assets. A good property manager can go in there and check on a regular basis, send you photos. If anything goes wrong or needs to get fixed, they can take care of it. They can make sure that maintenance gets done. I can't tell you how many times I see these um, these rentals that were never maintained, never serviced, and it winds up costing the owner thousands of dollars in repairs later. So if you have, if you need a property manager, I can refer one to you. I don't do that, but I'll be more than happy to refer a great one to you. So take care and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Little reminder that my business is based on referrals. Uh, without wonderful people such as yourself, I could not keep my business running. So if you happen to know of anybody, friend, family, coworker, neighbor that is interested in buying, selling, or investing in real estate, I would love to give them the best level of personal care. Thanks so much. Feel free to reach out, text, email, or uh, call me. Thanks. Bye-bye.